Welcome to this journey through the vast and frigid domains of our planet, where we will uncover one of the oldest and most fascinating weather phenomena, the polar vortices. At the extremities of the globe, these gigantic swirls of cold, low-pressure air play a vital role in shaping Earth's climate. Every winter, these vortices strengthen, trapping cold air in the polar regions, thanks to the growing temperature difference between the pole and the equator. However, these icy giants are not immutable. They are influenced by a variety of factors, both natural and human-induced, and any change in their behavior can have far-reaching climate consequences. What happens when these vortices are disrupted or weakened? How do they interact with other weather phenomena like the jet stream? And most importantly, in an era of accelerated climate change, what role do the polar vortices play? Join us on this exploration as we unravel the secrets of the polar vortices, their intricate dance with the Earth's atmosphere, and their critical influence on our global climate. In the coldest regions of our planet, a fascinating atmospheric phenomenon occurs. The polar vortices. These vast swirling masses of cold air, reaching speeds of up to 240 kilometers per hour during winter, are located in the section of the atmosphere known as the troposphere from ground level to about 10 or 15 kilometers in altitude. They extend into the stratosphere, rotating clockwise in the South Pole and counterclockwise in the North Pole due to the Coriolis effect. The vortices are surrounded by the so-called polar jet streams. But what are these air currents and why are they so important? Jet streams are narrow, fast moving air currents that flow near the tropopause, the transition between the troposphere where temperature decreases with altitude and the stratosphere where temperature increases. The strongest jet streams are the polar ones, located around 7 to 12 kilometers above sea level, and the higher and weaker subtropical jet streams, around 10 to 16 kilometers. In their core, they can travel at speeds of up to 400 kilometers per hour, they form when masses of air with different densities meet. And the pressure created by these density differences causes the winds to intensify. When these winds attempt to flow from the warmer region of the nearby stratosphere to the colder troposphere, they are deflected by the Coriolis effect and flow along the boundaries of the two original air masses. In the Northern Hemisphere, the polar jet stream circulates from west to east around the North Pole and acts as an invisible barrier between the cold air of the polar vortex and the warmer air to the south. They play a significant role in the global climate. These large, low-pressure swirls of cold air influence wind patterns and temperature distribution on our planet. When the polar vortices are strong and stable, the jet stream also tends to be strong and follows a more or less circular path around the pole, acting as invisible barriers and keeping the cold air confined to the polar regions, maintaining a relatively predictable climate balance. However, when the polar vortices weaken or become disrupted, the jet stream can become more wavy and erratic. This can allow cold air from the polar vortex to move southward while simultaneously enabling warmer air to move northward. This exchange of air masses can lead to extreme weather events, such as cold waves or heat waves, snowstorms or droughts, depending on the region and time of year. This occurred in late January 2019, due to a weakening of the jet stream. It split the polar vortex into two, with one formation traveling south and stalling over central Canada and the north-central United States for nearly a week before dissipating. This North Pole cold front generated strong winds and brought the coldest temperatures in over 20 years to most locations. The losses are not only in terms of human lives, but also in terms of canceled flights, delays in the logistics chain, and damages to public and private infrastructure, generating millions of dollars in losses. Climate change can have a significant impact on polar vortices and their effects on the global climate. 
As global temperatures rise due to climate change, the balance of temperature difference between polar and equatorial regions may shift. Polar vortices strengthen during winter due to the large temperature difference between the poles and the equator. However, global warming is heating up the Arctic at a faster rate than the rest of the planet, a phenomenon known as Arctic amplification. This reduction in temperature difference can weaken the polar vortex, making it more prone to disturbances. With a weakened polar vortex, we have observed that it can shift or split, allowing polar cold air to intrude southward, causing extreme cold waves in lower latitudes. On the other hand, these disturbances can also lead to periods of extreme heat in the polar regions. We have crossed the threshold of the eternal polar night, where the sun fades for months and the polar vortex weaves its icy dance. We have navigated the intricate tapestry of these atmospheric phenomena, from their mysterious formations to their influence on jet streams and how they are affected by climate change. The polar vortices, immense titans of cold, have revealed their strength and delicate balance to us. We have witnessed how they interact with atmospheric forces and how their fluctuations have climate impacts beyond their polar confines. We have reached the end of this documentary, but our curiosity and thirst for knowledge will guide us to new horizons. The next time you feel the winter chill, think of the polar vortices dancing in the darkness at the edge of the world, and remember the fascinating complexity of our planet. Until next time, and remember, our planet always has more secrets to reveal.